Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And Shalom to the brothers out there pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bari Yakanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as an in-transit edition video. Lord willing, it's edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and learning. And, um, you know, pretty much, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of um, activity happening right now, you know, concerning world affairs and especially concerning, you know, biblical prophecy. Now, China, they are, you know, pretty much in a very, you know, speedily manner excelling with the agenda of a cashless society. They've now made, you know, their digital currency and if not already, it is um, ready to be, you know, implemented and put into place all right and you know pretty much very soon they'll be ready to completely you know do away with tangible physical cash so that move is going to put a lot of pressure on america on babylon the great all right to also you know follow suit and even further advance regarding a cashless society. Now, they were saying earlier on last month that in July, the US is going to commence with, you know, the drawing board regarding the implementation of the digital dollar. All right. They said this coming July, they're going to you know, start having meetings in the hopes of forwarding that agenda and making sure that the right movements are put in place to have that take off, all right? So all of these nations are pretty much in a race to tap into that technology that's gonna cause this, um, global reset to officially kick off throughout the four corners of the globe, man. All right? Because you got to remember, you know, China, you know, it's in their, in their minds, you know, they believe that they're going to be the next, you know, superpower to rule the earth. You know, they fully believe that in their heart of hearts that, you know, they're going to rule upon the face of the earth. And you know, the Lord has, you know, greatly deceived them in thinking that. And as it's written, you know, the deceived and the dece and the deceiver, you know, are his. And you also have Esau, Edom, you know, as it's written, he doesn't believe that his kingdom, you know, his empire is going to come to an end. So he is also being deceived by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. That's why the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, you know, they're in a fort is that their houses shall continue forever, all right? So Esau is being deceived by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and Moab is also being deceived by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and it's a beautiful thing because because of that pride that both nations have, they don't even realize that the next rulers upon the face of the earth is you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, starting with the elect of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We are next to rule, okay? But because we are still on a very low, lower state in this world, they refuse to acknowledge the upcoming, you know, through the spirit of the Lord's chosen men, okay? They know we're on the highways and the byways, okay? And they know that, you know, when you see the prophets emerge through the spirit, you know, they know by analyzing 
you know, history that that's a bad sign for any kingdom. Okay? That's a bad sign for any kingdom pursuing to, um, you know, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. All right? As it says, um, you know, the prophets that prophesied before me and before thee of old, you know, prophesy against great, um, you know, countries, nations, you know, of, um, you know, war, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay, so it's, it's, it's very clear and it's evident that, you know, we're in, we are in the midst of the end of the world and we are in the midst of, you know, complete rulership changeover, man. All right, so that's why, you know, we're seeing all of these advancements, you know, concerning technology, you know, as it's written in uh, Daniel uh, chapter 12, you know, around the seventh verse, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you know, it talks about many people, you know, running to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. All right, that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai, that knowledge is being increased. Okay, knowledge is being increased because we are now in the age where that global um, reset is going to manifest itself and the RFID chip which is the mark of the beast spoken of in Revelations 13 and verse 16 is going to be implemented and made mandatory in these last days and that's why we have all of these 5G towers everywhere you go alright because that's going to be the um that's gonna be a, a major a major tool in the infrastructure and the functionality of the mark of the beast all right you're gonna need you know you're gonna need that um that connection all right that's gonna be you know fueling and powering you know the connection of those chips all right so that's why all of these things you know are coming together so meticulously man all right that's why you had all these lockdowns all right and while everyone was in their homes you know you had these towers being put up okay it's all by design all right it's all aiding to the um the gradual implementation of the of the beast system and also you know that's why you're hearing all this talk of the vp or the vp uh passports man okay because that's also you know, basically a form of gradualism to get you used to, you know, being tracked and having to have, you know, that document on you if you want to take part in this society, you know, mainly, you know, the bread and circuses because they know that without the bread and circuses, you know, people are going to go crazy, all right? People are going to lose it, all right? Because when people are not entertained, they start focusing on the issues in the world, man, all right? They start focusing on, you know, the injustice and everything that's not fair in society, all right? And Esau, you know, doesn't want that, all right? He doesn't want people thinking too hard about what's happening around them. So to keep you dumbed down and docile, you know, he's introduced, you know, these, um, these, these, these things, you know, these restrictions and ways that you can get back on the grid you know, by, you know, submitting your, um, your liberty, all right, that you think you have, all right, which is really not even liberty, man, okay, he just wants you to be in the mind state of being okay with being a slave, and, you know, a great way to do that is by having, you know, these VP passports, man, okay, so this is all gradualism, you know, massaging you and getting you, you know, ready to, um, live the new life under the under the beast system, man. You know, that's what everything is pointing towards. And that's why, you know, all of these advancements in technology are happening upon the face of the earth. Now they also have, you know, various um independent companies out there that are now working on um what's it called? They're now working on a uh, biochips as well. Alright? So they can um advance regarding disease detection. Alright, there's a few independent companies that I've researched that are working on that also so if you have you know a virus you know the well-known virus the CV they can now say okay it's going to flash up on their system and they'll summon you 
you know, to their officers and say, look, it's, we've detected that you have, you know, such and such in your body via the biochip. So they'll summon you to come to a particular place. And then just like a computer, you know, you'll be injected with some software, man. Okay. Which is, which is in form of these, um, these jabs. All right. So, you know, this is all, you know, the, um, the wicked plans of E and how he, you know, looks to um, further restrict you and take away, you know, your rights and your freedoms by way of these processes that he's introducing into the world, man. So there's a lot going on and it's a beautiful time to be alive, all right? Especially if you have this wisdom, knowledge and understanding of your how about Shimi Awashai is a very beautiful time to be alive because we can see, you know, all of these things that we've been talking about through the spirit coming into fruition, all right? Everything is perfectly coming into fruition through the spirit and power of your how about Shimi Awashai, man. And we can do nothing but praise the Lord in these last days as we watch you know in these um <laughs> in these front row seats man all right because we have the knowledge okay and the scriptures say you know the people perish where there is no vision man all right so be glad and be thankful unto you how about shimmy i was shy that you have the vision in these last days man because it's a beautiful thing all right so with that uh, lord willing you know this brief lesson was edifying and until the next one i'll say shalom